Fast changing summer weather in Tasmania meant we'd been changing anchorages on a daily basis and we were really looking forward to finding somewhere we could spend several days at a time. We'd been told about a really neat little gunkle anchorage just south of the Freshnair Peninsula on Shouten Island. With a northerly wind expected to come through that night, this looked like a fantastic place to park up Marul for some shelter and diving. This week we take you there and share with you the incredible time we had at this wild remote bay which has turned out to be one of our favourite anchorages in Australia. Welcome to Free Range Sailing. Join us as we sail around Australia visiting its wild places in our 30 foot, 50 year old sailing boat Marul. Living off the land and sea while sailing a yacht that costs less than a new car, we show that it's possible to have big adventures with a seaworthy boat on a very modest budget. Never miss an episode of Free Range Sailing again. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to stay notified of all our upcoming releases. With the passing of the rain, we started to lose the wind, so we popped up the mainsail for stability and motored into the anchorage. The entrance to our new anchorage wasn't clear to see and the swell breaking on the rocks was a little intimidating. Either side of us, we've got like kelpy rock, so we've just anchored in the middle of sand and weed. I feel like a meerkat. <laughs> All of that um, coral reef stunt parking have just been working up to this. Yeah. This looks like like it would be a bad anchorage, but because the swell is sort of coming from everywhere, we don't we're not rocking. We're sort of <laughs> sounds good. I am enthusiastic about swimming here. Me too. Here you can see just what a snug anchorage we'd found ourselves in. We felt quite at home here, but the lighthouse gives a hint at this area's dangerous character. It's 
that time again. We've run out of seafood, so we're going to jump in and have a look and see what sort of creatures are living around here. The water is a balmy 15 degrees? 14.95 degrees. 14.95 degrees, so we're going to put our wetsuits on. This is what you need to be a law abiding citizen. So they want you to use a commercial, commercial product because it's got the required width, blunt tip, abalonia haemophiliacs. So if you cut them or stab them, they start bleeding, they don't stop and they'll die. So that's the reasoning behind that. We blunt the side of this just because it's not like a Rambo knife, is it, Pascal? No. And I was cutting this, the string. It cuts its way out of its cheap little nasty holster there. Mm -hmm. So what we really need to do is get a hold of some PVC and I'll melt it down and make a proper scabbard like I have for the Parang. And an abalone gauge. So the good people at the um, was it the Tassie government store in Flinders Island had all yep. this for us. So well, not this, but I had that. Yeah. Let's now, check it out. Let's hopefully find some stuff here. It looks lifey. Not all sharks are man eaters. Tasmanian fisheries ask that you try to measure your abalone with a gauge to see whether they are legal size before you take them. But sometimes it's not that easy. <laughs> If the abalone feels anything before you can flip them off the rock, they can hold on with an amazing power. The bag limit for black lip abalone in these waters is 5 per licensed diver and, with abalone this size, that was more than enough to feed us over the next few days. These banded morwong are slow growing and get to the same age as us. To protect them, they are also subject to strict fisheries guidelines with a maximum and a minimum size. These southern crayfish are smaller than their northern cousins, but we think they are a lot tastier. The law requires us to only capture them by hand without the use of any tools.
Running the knife in a shallow cut around the carapace like this ensures minimal meat is left behind when we remove the tail. Each one of those is uh, just a hell of a steak, isn't it? You don't really need to have anything more than your bag limit, do you? Look at that, that's a, that's a steak right there. We found that just by bashing them, and it doesn't really have to be that, that full on, just bashing the, the base of the foot, it kills the abalone. And we've, um, we've been having really tender, <laughs> tend to abalone steaks. People often think the abalone is really tough and they're oh, you got to mince it and, and then bash it and then mince it again and then run it through a blender or whatever. Or but boil it for like 40 minutes or an hour or something. <laughs> they, these abalone that we've been having have just been super, super tender. And that's all we've been doing, we've just been bashing them to kill them. And then making sure that when we cook them, like we thinly slice it, and we make sure that we cook them, it's basically only just a little bit more than heating them up. So I think you're either going to really, really flash cook them, or you're going to have to cook them for a long time. Mm -hmm. I guess these um, abalone. I know you've you've got abalone over in um, over in the Americas and over in Africa as well. But I guess that this would be our version of conch. You know, everyone in the, the caravan goes crazy for different types of conch. We have some small conch relatives like spider shell, but we don't really um, exploit it as food that much. But abalone, on the other hand, sure do. I'm crazy for it. So it's a different kind of diving, but what is the same is you come out of it with an appetite. <laughs> a little bit of cray tail and the spider, which is just the, the legs and everything else like that. Taken apart from the body and cooked. Obviously the gills have been taken off. And this condiment that's going with it is wasabi mayonnaise. Mm. Good. Thanks for getting the crayfish done. <laughs> it's really yummy. Cream leek and bacon. What do you think there, Skip? It's really good. Again, it's really tender. So you were worried, like straight out of the ocean, it was going to be tough. It's about the same tenderness as bacon fat, I guess. You can't tear it that easily, mm. but it, you know, it, it chews. Yeah, once you start chewing it, it disintegrates. Mmm. It's beautiful. It's pretty good. I love abalone. Well, this bay is really, really beautiful. And Pascal was just pointing out to us before, because she came out here and she's just like, looking at the colors on the rock and you know, the, 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 the giant kelp just washing back and forward in the tide. And she was looking at the sunset and it was beautiful. And she was just saying, it's really great here in Tassie because it takes hours <laughs> for the sun to set. So you, you can really you know, take your time and enjoy things. It feels like we've stepped back in time here. And the, the colours on the rocks and everything, they're just getting richer and richer as the sun goes down. It sort of reminds us of our time in the Kimberley. Um, I guess we're mostly on top of the food chain here. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're just going to ignore that great li whites live around here for a little bit. But um, you know, no crocs or anything like that, so we can relax most of the time. But it's... It's just as wild as the Kimberleys was, but it's just because it's wet, you know, like there's, it's so green. And then we can go sailing just to another part. And it's like, 
I haven't been to Scotland yet, but I've seen a few postcards and photographs, and it, it's just like we're you know, sailing up there. So it's an amazing place to visit. You should do it. If you enjoyed the episode this week, thanks for hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Also, while I've got you here, I recently put out a very comprehensive free 40 page guide on provisioning. This is one of the most common questions I get asked when we have meetups with fans. To find out more and to grab your free copy today, head to the provisioning page on our website by clicking the link on screen now or in the description of this video. Thank you.